We can't all be sharks. Gotta have some trout, right? Why has society forgotten the value of contentment and of enjoying the simple pleasures in life? What's good, YouTube fam? It's your girl, China Ahu Party, coming to you live. This video is titled, Why I Choose to Have No Ambition. My name is Jean. I'm 41. I don't have any of the typical achievements the rest of my peers have by now. No high-ranking job, posh life, big salary, not even kids. So what's interesting to me is that she's 41 years old. People with titles like this on YouTube, they're typically in their 20s. They're very young, you know, still trying to find their path in life. But yeah, 41 year old, that's quite different. So I'm curious to hear what her life is like and why she has no ambition. And if I may be honest, I no longer aspire to that life. The ambition to achieve big goals, live to the fullest, whatever that means, stand out from the crowd, I don't have all that. Sometimes I even wonder if having it all is truly possible. I feel like she's the type to say money does not matter. There are some people that literally say money does not matter. It is stupid. When I hear that, I think that's false. For one, for us to live, we need money in America. Definitely. That's one of the main problems for most people in life is financial issues. So money definitely is very important to have in a life to be fairly content, I would say. But she gives me that vibe that she's the type to say something like that. I don't know for sure. She seems a little free spirited and you know, and she's just living her life. But there's nothing wrong with that if she's happy with it. Let's keep going. From what I've seen, most people bring the best of themselves to work and then bring the leftovers back home. All I really want, if I may be frank, is to have a small but happy life. To make enough money to pay my bills and be financially self-sufficient. But still have free time to spend with my loved ones and, I don't know, be terrible at my hobbies, probably. It seems like that might be her significant other. I'm not sure, but if that is, then that makes it completely different. I thought she was a single person, 41-year-old, not married, no ambition. If she has a significant other... They might be carrying the load in a lot of different ways, you know, allowing her to live a relaxed life without ambition. Hopefully she kind of clarifies. But ambition, I believe it comes from somebody having a need or a strong desire for something in life. So if you don't really have many needs or all of your, your needs and wants are being provided or being met, then why would you need ambition? For the longest time, I'd resisted admitting all that, even to just myself. There's just so much pressure to conform, to hustle 24-7, to work our way up the ladder, become a leader, make it big. But you know, there's over 8 billion people on this planet today, yet we're all expected to adhere to the same mold of what it means to be crushing it at life. To me, it doesn't quite add up. We can't all be sharks. Gotta have some trout, right? Why has society forgotten the value of contentment and of enjoying the simple pleasures in life? I don't think it was forgotten. I just think people can't afford it. I don't know exactly if she's in America or in another country, but in America, things are expensive. I know a lot of people would live a relaxed life, live their best life if they had enough money to do it and also the time to do it. So in America, you naturally have to hustle because you're either in a low class, middle class or upper class. Low class, you're living off of government assistance, most likely, and incentivized to stay there because you can only make so much to continue to get that assistance. Middle class, you get taxed and then everything's coming out of your pocket to pay for your housing, your food, you know, and then upper class, they have money. So financial issues might not be as much of a problem for them and they might have more time on their hands. Who knows? Upper class, some people work very hard, long hours. And that's not really a life of contentment either. So it's not all about money. But at the end of the day, you have to hustle in America to be able to live a life of freedom, in my opinion. I think that's just how it is because of the society we live in. So, yes, I have no ambition. No typical ambitions, at least. And we have our answer. I don't know if you guys saw it, but she does have a ring on her ring finger. And it could be her spouse that's allowing her to live this relaxed, lack of ambition type of life. Career achievements mean little to me, but I do aspire to make a success of my life in other ways. To live a quiet and uncomplicated life, cherishing those I love, 
and time to enjoy the activities I'm interested in. I'm not trying to say that it's cool to be unexceptional or to flip the bird at the conventional success narrative. I just want to put the message out there that just because your dreams may not be grandiose, it doesn't make them any less meaningful. I don't know how I'm feeling about this video because it's not really an accurate depiction of how life would be for most people if they lack ambition. You're not going to live a life like this, a luxurious life is what she's living. She has a nice house. I'm just like, what? She's on beaches, sipping from coconuts. Again, it depends on where she's at. In America, you're not living this life if you have no ambition, if you haven't been making money. Some people can make some stupid decisions and, and use credit cards, I guess, and just go on these vacations and rack up some, some debt. But I think she does have a husband that's taking good care of her and that allows her to be ambitionless. There is plenty of joy in just living. I believe it's okay to just be, and that it's not wrong to want a slower life. It's fine to not be interesting and just be a normal person in the world. After all, isn't that like 95% of the population out there? Of course, one part of walking away from everybody's ambitions in pursuit of an alternative path is accepting that not wanting to hustle as hard as the rest means trade-offs in other parts of life. Maybe not getting paid as much, not having great opportunities, etc. But I think I'm okay with that. Sure, a consequence of my lack of ambition is that I no longer dine every week at some fancy restaurants or spend holidays at- And she tells us to live this life as she puts a bowl down on her marble counters. <laughs> it, with her house, look at that big window. Clearly they're well off, okay? Of course you can live this life if you got money. If, if somebody's bringing in the cheese, I would live this ambitionless life too. This isn't for everybody because clearly everybody's not married. Everybody does not have these things if they don't have ambition. I can't knock her. She's happy in life. She's content. That's what everybody should have. I believe everybody deserves happiness. As long as you're not harming yourself or harming others, do what makes you happy. And being ambitionless makes her happy. She has a spouse that's making her very happy. I'm happy for her, all right? Do you guys think that it's her spouse helping her out or do you think she actually helped create this life as well in the beginning? Who knows? She's 41 now. Maybe she lost ambition. But anyways, until next time, I'm China. I who party. I'm out.